So, if you want to construct a map projection, how can you do it? There's three basic ways, the optical way, the geometrical way, and the mathematical way. And of course, when we do it in GIS, it's all based on the mathematics and it's just crunching through the numbers in order to do the projection. Here's an example of an optical method. So on the left-hand side, we can see that we have a large piece of paper that's curved around, and then we have half of a globe inside of that, and then right in the middle of all that, we have a light bulb. And so if we turn that light bulb on and the globe was transparent, except for the lines of latitude and longitude, what we would see in an optical fashion is that those lines would be projected by the light onto that piece of curved paper. We could then take that piece of curved paper and lay it flat, assuming those lines somehow printed or were projected onto that piece of paper. And then what we would get is the map projection on the right. What we can see on that map projection is that all of the lines of, of longitude are equally spaced and parallel to each other, but all of the lines of latitude, although they're parallel to each other, are not equally spaced. And this is because as the light shines through half of the globe, it's going a greater distance until it hits the piece of paper. Another way to construct map projections is in a geometrical sense. So in this case, on the bottom here, we either see a globe or half of a globe, like the northern hemisphere, and maybe the lines we're seeing on those globes are the lines of latitude. And then basically we're just extending lines either from the center of the earth or from, or from the um, other side of the earth onto the piece of paper, or maybe we're extending lines from the piece of the paper down to the globe as we see on the right hand side there. In this way we can make three different map projections of the North Pole and the surrounding areas all of which will have lines of latitude as appearing as circles. What we see, however, is the spacing of those circles is different depending on how we construct these geometrically. And um, the spacing sometimes increases as we move away from the North Pole, or in, in some cases, as in the stereographic, the spacing between the, um, the subsequent circles would stay the same. The last way that we can start with a globe and get lines onto a map projection and Cartesian coordinate system is by doing some sort of mathematical um, operation. In this case, we're just saying the latitude equals y and the longitude equals x. And in this way, we're doing a very simple map projection, which has plenty of distortion, but um, it's called a plate carré map projection. And it's a very simple map, pro map projection to achieve because the mathematical operation is so simple. Latitude equals y and longitude equals x.